Hello and welcome to a new video. So today I'm photographing a uh, family outdoors and uh, they actually emailed me that they would love to be in a YouTube video. So very much fun. Um, they have three beautiful daughters. I'm bringing dresses for the mom. Um, I'm going to show you the location later. I'm going to show you my camera settings and show you a little bit behind the scenes of uh, just me taking the photos and the final images. Um, so yeah, I have dresses for the mom, then I bring one shirt for the dad. I bring a blanket to sit on, like hats for the mom. Um, maybe a little bench for the girls to sit in, the older two girls. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you what I'll be bringing and then the, the actual session. So let's go. So yeah, it's a little bit chilly outside. It is about like 14 degrees Celsius, which is why I'm wearing a sweater. I'm actually quite warm now. But um, I have a white t-shirt underneath. I'll be wearing my white um, coat. Uh, so I can always strip and take things off if it's too warm and they have these beautiful locks of wood there right now So we're gonna use those in photos as well. So let's go. I'm actually bringing quite a lot for the mom because uh, I always have a list of dresses that they can choose from and she wasn't quite sure which dresses would look nice with the rest of the Outfit, so I'm bringing like long sleeve chiffon dresses then like this brown dress Which is a little bit shorter the beautiful like dress from Reclamation, which has like this linen material kind of and then this beautiful big skirt Like a gypsy skirt with this top. So I'm gonna put it on my suitcase and then we're going Yeah, this is the gear I'm photographing with my Nikon ZZX2 with the 50 millimeter lens. I'm also bringing a backup camera D750 and the 105 millimeter lens 1.4 which I can also use on that camera or without the adapter on that camera I have extra cards extra battery. So let's go so yeah, the older girls are, um, well, a little bit older, so I'll probably bring this bench because um, I think it will be nice for the older girls to sit on. Okay, so I just arrived at the spot. I can see that they're already here. So after the session, I'm going to talk a little bit about, <clears throat> about the poses I usually do and which um, groups I photograph together and then like individually. So let's talk about that later. Let's first do the session.
talk about uh, family sessions a little bit later, but it was such a lovely family. Be beautiful, uh, adorable kids. They watched my videos. Thank you so much for booking me. It was so nice to meet you. And we took a selfie together at the end and uh, we could talk about photography, which was great. Um, at some point, the youngest one was kind of done uh, with the whole like session, which is fine. Their kids' batteries also empty. I almost forgot my vlog camera. I left it out and then we walked away. Anyway, uh, we'll talk about it later. But kids are kids. It's chaotic. A family session. I love it. So I'm going to show you the photos. Well, you've seen the photos, camera settings. And I'm going to head inside. I'm going to have dinner. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks later later because my camera battery is dying anyway so talk to you later okay so as you can see i just finished the case mess session but anyway so it's already a little bit later um and i thought i filmed the part where i share a little bit about the um directions i give families when i'm photographing them but i can't really find that clip anywhere so i'm just recording it again or maybe I dreamt that I recorded it. I don't know. So, um, family poses or family prompts. I think I use both during a family session. So, um, I usually like I introduce myself when I see the family, usually at the parking lot, and we just chat a little bit. So I chat with the kids and I uh, try to make them feel comfortable around me. So then we walk towards the photo shoot location. So by the time we get there, <laughs> they usually know I have two kids and a dog and two kittens and <laughs> whatever, three chickens. No, we chat, we chat about stuff. Um, we just, we become friends. I try to become friends with them. So we are at the location. So I put all my stuff in one spot and there, and then usually they're like kind of like standing there like, okay, what's the deal? What are we going to do? So they'll look at me expectantly, like, what are you going to tell us to do? Um, because we don't know, we're awkward. Or we're standing in front of a camera, we don't know how to hold our hands and how to, uh, like, what posture to have and stuff. So um, that's usually the moment when they look at me. And then I try to start taking the first few photos while they are feeling more confident and more comfortable as I take photos. Because you know the whole like walking towards location, that's fine. But then as soon as I pull out the camera, sometimes people can get a little bit nervous. So uh, sometimes I ask them just to walk towards me, hand in hand, uh, holding the kid, like holding hands, holding the kids' hands. Kids can walk on the outside, parents on the inside, kids on the inside, parents on the outside. Sometimes when there's a younger child, they can lift the child up, hold them in their arms. And then they have one hand free, maybe holding their partner or holding the other kids. The kids are a little bit older, like say two, three, four years old, uh, up till, I don't know, five, six, seven years old. What the kids usually like is when they walk towards me and then the parents can like swing them towards the camera and they love it and they want to do it the whole time. So I won't just ask them immediately because otherwise they will want to do that the whole time, but sometimes it helps them to relax a little bit. Um, then I, well, actually, even before that, I tell the parents, don't look at me. Don't look at the camera, look at each other, look at the kids. Uh, kids will sometimes look at me and look at the camera because that's what they do and I cannot really tell them where to look when they're young. Um, but for the parents, it's sometimes a little bit awkward when they're just like looking into the camera the whole time, like posing. And I like it so much better when they're interacting with each other, interacting with the kids, um, looking at the kids, looking at each other. So yeah, sometimes I ask them, okay, stand very close together, all of you, maybe lift up the younger kids, older kids, cuddle in between mom and dad, wrap your arms around each other, maybe tickle each other. Um, look at each other, try to make each other laugh. So sometimes they can swirl around a little bit to get some movement in the photos. They can hold hands like in a circle and then like, we have this song that you sing, Jan Huyg in the And they will just like make circles. And I already have some really good shots from that usually and it helps them to relax. So win-win. Um, then I try to get as many like combinations as possible. But I don't have to like separate them from the group. Sometimes I do that, but sometimes I just leave them in their group, kissing each other, hugging each other, tickling each other. And then, uh, for example, I'll take a close up of one of the younger children in their mom's or dad's arms. And they will look at the camera maybe, and 
then I have like maybe the, the shoulder of the mom or the hair of the mom or you see the hands of the mom around the child but you have a close-up of the child so you have a portrait of the child you know being loved by the mom and feeling comfortable and hopefully later when they see the photo they see how much their parents love them love them um, so yeah and then sometimes I will just say okay maybe one of the four three four five year old kids do you sometimes sit on your dad's like back or like shoulders do you want to do that so then um okay let me just turn off my sound so that's great because then i can take some photos of the whole family standing together and there's more like a dy dy like a dynamic atmosphere they're not just like all standing right next to each other but mom is maybe holding one child another child is sitting on dad's shoulder sitting on dad's back so you have more like movement and like layers in their composition and then I also can take some close-ups of the dad and the child sitting on his shoulder his back or on the mom's shoulder mom's back so I try to get every child with each parent and then the children individually as well which sometimes it's easier for me to bring like a little chair because then they sit on it and then I can really just take some close-ups of their face of them sitting because if they start running around, I can also take lovely photos. But I mean, if there are two and they're just running around the whole time, sometimes it can help to bring like a little chair because they usually like little chairs to sit on and I can take some individual shots as well. I tried to get the siblings together in the photo. I tried to get the parents together in the photo, like some romantic poses, you know, like uh, like the slow dancing pose where the one partner is holding the, the in the neck and around the waist and just like foreheads together and kiss on the forehead and uh, twirling maybe the like one parent so what twirling the other parent uh, a kiss why not and then the kids usually love it because they're like encouraging their parents like are they doing a good job feeling or just like try to do some silly faces behind me try to get your parents to, to smile and yeah when they're really small kids sometimes it helps when there's a stroller as well so you can like buckle up the one-year-old and because if their parents are focusing on each other and I'm taking the photos you don't want the one-year-old to just wander off by himself or herself uh, of course if there's water anywhere in near the location uh, make sure you have like ice in the back of your head uh, or otherwise just buckle them up in their stroller sometimes we also walk to several locations so then it can be um, a good idea to bring like a stroller or like a little cart uh, for them to sit in. So yeah, parents together, maybe parents individually as well. I mean, who doesn't need a new profile photo on their LinkedIn, wherever. Um, so yeah, why not? Because I offer a number of digital files and they can always order more. So if I have more variety in my photos, chances that they will order more images as well and for me it's just like a few seconds extra and like I want to fill up the hour anyway so yeah kids individually parents individual parents together siblings together and then each parent with each sibling and they can dance they can twirl they can lift them up into the air they can tickle them they can give kisses um, try on hats try on silly sunglasses whatever dimension like movement in the photo that's great Sometimes uh, kids want to climb a tree. If it's safe, if they do that all the time, maybe have one of the parents stand close to them, hold them. They can kind of like climb the tree, I can take some photos. Uh, we had these logs where they could sit on. So we had some kids sitting in between the parents, sitting on the parents' lap, which is also great. Um, by the end, the younger one really didn't want to be in the photos anymore. So that's actually when I did the parent shots because I wanted to use all the positive energy that the younger one had for the photos with the younger one and then when she was just not having it anymore I mean she was not too excited to be in the photos anyway so uh, but that's fine I mean real kids real emotions and I love realness in the photos so yeah we save the parent shots for at the end so that then the younger child could just rest and chill another thing that you can do is use prompts so you can for example ask them questions like okay look at the person who has the smelliest feet and that'll give you some smiles usually but trying to like see if the crowd is uh, up to that uh, or just like look at the person whose birthday is like the first like okay whatever uh, look at the person who got the best Christmas present 
it could be somebody it doesn't have to be like smelly feet or <laughs> something like that you don't want to insult your clients but uh, it helps them to look at each other to have a conversation amongst them to smile um yeah so questions like that can work sometimes what can be sometimes what can be fun is to uh involve the kids in like this funny trick that you're going to play on the parents like okay stand behind me and then i count to three, three and i one two three and at three you run towards your parents and you start tickling them or you start giving them like a big hug like the biggest hug that you can and they don't know that you're coming so you know it's like movement and and smiles or what i read somewhere was that you can ask them to hum like a certain tune especially when they're older like my son is seven he loves music he's all the time singing dancing humming um and he has his favorite songs and it's just so much fun so uh sometimes he actually plays that game with me like he will start humming a song and then i have to guess which song it is so yeah, he's seven, so maybe like the older kids will like those kind of games. So yeah, what I usually bring as well is a blanket because it's great to sit on. Um, and you can use the blanket as well as like a swing, like a big swing, and then the kids can sit in it and the parents can like swing them back and forth. Uh, the younger child wasn't too happy with that proposal, but the other kids loved it. So she was like walking around and they were like using the blanket as a swing. You can use the blanket as like a blanket to like wrap around the whole family when they're like like cuddling up together uh, maybe towards the end it's getting chilly use the blanket use the prop uh, you can always ask them not to smile for some kids that is really funny you can ask them about their favorite superheroes like um, pretend that they are their favorite superheroes and just take a lot of photos um, because usually with families the more chaotic it is the coolest photos you're gonna get and then the parents are like whoa like towards the end like wow did you really get any good shots like i felt like i was just like running after the kids they were like payback riding on me i was uh trying to get them to behave and it was so chaotic and did you get any good shots and i'm like i got so many good shots especially when they're not paying attention to me and they're just like chasing after the kids or let them piggy ride right piggy right on their backs um, I usually take one or two family photos where everybody's looking at the camera because I know that like maybe some like more traditional families or um, because I know that traditionally that's a photo that the grandparents for example really love they want to frame it they want to put it on their uh, in their homes um, so yeah a, fo a photo where everybody's like looking at the camera and smiling yeah I, I try to get those as well so when they're sitting on the blanket okay everybody look at me and smile or like when they're standing all together and I see that it's a beautiful uh, composition. Okay, I'm ready to smile. Let me show you be most beautiful smile. Um, because sometimes maybe families will think that a session failed because they didn't get one of those photos, even though all the other ones so much better. Uh, but I tried to get those. What I also like is to play with like putting some people in the like distance in the in the background. And like putting the focus on the the people who are standing more in the front because then you have the whole family in the photo but you don't have to use like a really small aperture, aperture to get everybody in focus no i want them to be like in the background blurry dancing twirling uh just walking and then maybe have a close-up of one of the parents with one of the children in the front so i sometimes i ask them to swap okay now you guys can go and stand there and then you guys can stand here and then let's change positions um, so stuff like that so yeah you could you've seen the photos i guess it makes more sense if you've seen the photos and you know what i mean but anyway so these are how i do my family photos um, and i can't wait to photograph more families in the spring and in the summer and autumn and maybe even in winter because uh, i'm actually filming this from my new petite studio space it's even smaller I'm, I'm, I'm downsizing like my studio is getting smaller every time I move but it's fine because this year I'm gonna focus on a big dream that's coming true which is a beautiful greenhouse and it's like it's gonna be amazing for like family sessions also in like autumn winter when it's cooler and I can heat it up and uh, twinkling light like fairy lights and, and Christmas trees and pumpkins and we have this beautiful big backyard that just has like beautiful view um, so greenhouse will come so my studio is smaller because i will probably do less studio sessions but i can still do kids my sessions 
newborn sessions on that side. But I haven't shown you that side yet because I haven't done newborn sessions, but it'll come. So videos will come where I show the move and the new studio. But I've also recorded still a bunch of videos in my old studio. So I might just post them first. I have so much editing to do, but seriously, moving and like um, doing like tons of like painting and renewing floors and uh, that's a lot of work too but especially packing and like sorting through your stuff and realizing that you have so much stuff and then bringing it to thrift stores and stuff that takes a lot of time so I still have tons of video recorded in my older studio so those might be uploaded first or I'll, or I'll mix them let me know what you think but anyway thanks for watching have a lovely day I love seeing you in the comments I love seeing you on Instagram you'll get on Instagram a ton more behind the scenes videos in my new studio